Hello and welcome to another episode. This episode is brought to you by Freddy's Steak Burgers and Custard. They're not paying me anything, but I just ate there and it was delicious. Love that place. So Freddy's, if you ever want to send me a gift card or something, go for it. Uh, just driving to the Ford dealership here and thought I'd make a quick video and give you some tips and advice for some accessories uh, for your Bronco. Um, I snagged a Yakima um, swing arm bike rack and then the um, ski rack uh, mount that mounts onto the bike rack. So that was like 660 bucks, just the swing arm bike rack piece. And then the uh, the ski route, ski mount that goes on that was like 230 bucks. So that was kind of pricey for a ski solution. Uh, don't buy it. If you've got a full size Bronco, don't buy the Akima swing arm um, uh, bike rack because it will not fit with your spare tire. It has to go on, you know, the bike rack has to go on a certain way into the hitch and the spare tire is, uh, well at least, I don't know, maybe with a, a smaller, I've got the 35s on the Sasquatch, so maybe with like the 33s it might fit, there may be enough clearance to get the uh, the bike rack um, in the hitch, uh, in the hitch mount. Um, so yeah, I'm taking it back right now, it does not fit with the full size 35s. Uh, in the hitch, so I don't know why I, I don't even know why Ford sold it to me. I wish they wouldn't have, um, just because it's kind of annoying to have to run through all this rigmarole of buying and returning stuff. Um, I actually got the ski mount uh, uh, portion uh, that goes on the bike rack from uh, online, so I just mailed that back to them. And then I'm taking the bike rack thing back now. Um, so don't even bother with it if you've got the full size with the, the 35s. Uh, again, don't know if it would fit on the 30, like the 33s. That extra couple inches may make it where uh, you have enough clearance to get that in there. But I have the soft top, so I couldn't really go with the uh, uh, ski rack, the roof mounted ski rack. So I was trying to get a good solution for that. And of course, just my luck, I'd get everything and start putting it all together the night before I'm going skiing and uh, doesn't fit and got to take it all back. Uh, additionally, don't buy, well, don't, I'm not going to say don't buy, try to buy your, your accessories through Ford. Um, they're cheaper. They're, they're much cheaper actually than what I found for the exact same identical Ford branded or even, I don't know, Ford manufactured or Ford branded, whatever, however they're doing it, uh, parts and accessories. So for instance, I ordered the, uh, the cubby, it goes in the back, uh, the cubby system, the drawer, um, online that was $1,035 or something like that, I want to say. That's another thing I just returned today. Um, and Ford on their website, 700 bucks, and the accessories guys at my dealership saying he's he can get it down to even more like 600 or something. So I'm like, okay, well I'm gonna return that. They didn't. I ordered through CJ Pony Parts, so uh, definitely just go through Ford's website or your accessories guy at Ford because uh, they may be able to trim the price up a little bit more for you, uh, get you a better deal. But yeah, I, I'm gonna try to buy all my accessories through Ford just because of that reason. Like I said, they're they're just cheaper. Um, and yeah, it's just easier not having to get it in the mail, uh, return it in the mail. If, if you have to return something, I can just drive to the Ford dealership and return this bike rack where I had to ship all the other stuff back to uh, CJ Pony Parts. So uh, yeah, like the, um, the tailgate fold down bed, that was at least, I think, um, 50 or $75 cheaper than online, so I returned that. I'm glad I didn't install some of this stuff and was procrastinating on putting it in uh, because after talking to the guys at Ford, it was uh, just cheap to go through them. So yeah, just some quick tips. Um, I'll show you uh, the outside, what I did the exterior here when we get up for some accessories and uh, uh, yeah, the wrap, I'll show you that. So that turned out great, but um, yeah, <laughs> don't buy parts from online if you can just get them through Ford for cheaper. Uh, Yakima swing arm bike rack solution doesn't really work with the spare tire. I was really hoping that was going to work because I thought it would be really cool for skis or if I don't bike but skis in the winter time because um, it, well, it would swing out of the way so you can open your tailgate and stuff. So I thought it was a pretty cool solution but just not uh, 
fit properly. So there's some advice there. Yeah, enjoy your Bronco if you have them. Ask me any questions if you'd like to know. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna uh, slice in uh, uh, some exterior shots of what I got going on outside. Right on, later guys, cheers. All right, here is the military matte green wrap with a full clear bra over it. Got the uh, winch on there if you saw. I went with the uh, rigid light pods from Ford, the bullet antenna. Got the winch on there. He was able to uh, get the Bronco levering green for me too, so that's sweet. But uh, I would recommend going through somebody different than Ford for your wrap. Got the orange inlays, got the rubber floor mats. It's all dirty in here and on the outside. But yeah, it's way cheaper if you go through the a third party for your wrap instead of through Ford. Ford won in like $2,000 just to clear bra like up to here or something weird. So it's uh, much cheaper if you find your own. But yeah, there it is, all green and wrapped. Let me know what you think.